Norwegian Jade is just one of the latest cruise ships to stop over in Cape Town as the city's cruise season gets underway. The vessel is one of 75 that will visit Cape Town as part of this year's cruise season, which will see thousands of tourists visit the mother city. This year's season has been successful so far and has helped boost the local economy. That's largely due to the hard work of the many tourism stakeholders to put the city's cruise season on the global map. The traditional cruise markets for um, the, the southern coast of Africa is Europe and the States. Um, and that is also where our recovery efforts have been focusing in the last year and a half. We have attended Sea Trade in Miami earlier this year, which is the biggest international um, cruise industry trade show, and as well as um, Sea Trade in Malaga for the European cruise lines. Tourists arriving during the cruise season are seen as high spenders and are therefore much sought after by local tour companies who hope to get their business back to pre-pandemic levels. The Table Mountain Aerial Cableway, which appears in the new Seven Wonders of Nature list, has also been trying to attract the cruise passengers. Definitely have seen the first trickle of visitors coming through and, and in anticipation of the fact that the cruise terminal is going to see so many cruise liners dock in the mother city, we had constructed a fast track path, which allows particularly those visitors to gain access to the mountain without queuing. And this has proven to be a huge success. Cape Town's cruise season is expected to run until March. Thousands of inbound passengers will get the chance to enjoy the sights, sounds and hospitality of the mother city. With the majestic backdrop of Table Mountain and the beautiful surrounds, it's easy to see why so many cruise liners have added Cape Town to their service route. With 75 cruise liners set to visit the mother city for the season, this will make Cape Town the most visited cruise destination on the African continent.